Your turn. Okay, we need to get a couple more taps off on him. Uh, but let's build up some stamina again. Okay, one more, and he's dead. Die, please. Don't hit me, just die. Come on, man, what the hell? Good Lord Almighty. And welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, it is day seven, so we got to figure out what we're going to do for Horde Night, and we're going to keep working on our quest. So overnight, I uh, did the usual inventory management uh, stuff, so we got that done, and um, let's see, what else did I do? I did a couple other things, too. I'm just trying to remember what they were, because it's been uh, about a day and a half since I played last. So let's see. We open up this. There was something we were going to do, but I can't remember what it was. So, all right. Well, let's just get started with our quest uh, and, and continue on. We kind of wanted to go hit Fat's food and keep looking for for some food stuff, too, uh, that we need. But, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, now I know what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, Wah! I can't remember anything. Uh, we need to make the water purifier thing. That's what we need to do. Okay. So. Um, yeah, everything is in the upper right hand corner that we need. I don't th think, let's see, we'll have extra, oh, I do have extra wood in here. So, okay, so that takes care of that part. Uh, cooking pot. Um, there we go. Uh, cooking pot's done. A burning barrel. No, it, uh, let's get back, let's get back to that in a second. I think we can make burning barrel, but it says nails. So, if I just, it says craft nails, but let's tr test this out again. Because if I can, can I just put nails in here? No, shit, it wants me to craft them. I, I, that doesn't make sense. I shouldn't have to craft them specifically when I already have them. I should only have to obtain them. But no, you gotta craft them. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's make, uh, eight. Well, we might as well turn all of those. Actually, you know what? We probably shouldn't turn all those into nails in case we have to craft more nails. So let's just make the quantity that we need. Yeah, that's a little silly that we have to actually craft it when we already have them, you know? Maybe there's, um, a game limitation, mod limitation reason for that or something. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so we got the nails. Um, we're going to need five coal and two pipes. I have two pipes here already that we've been hanging on to. Uh, so that's taken care of. Um, so we're going to have to go out and get some coal because I don't believe I have any handy. So yeah, we have to go get some coal. Uh, let's take a look at the burning barrel too because I think we can make a burning barrel. I was looking at that. Uh, yeah, so we need seven forged iron, uh, ten wood, and five coal for this, too. So we, we need a total of ten coal uh, to finish this. Plus, um, probably should grab a little extra wood while we're out and about, too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go out and about. Oh, I know what else I was going to tell you guys. I made I made a bacon and eggs. Look at me and my bad self. First time making bacon and eggs. Um, so, yeah, we did that last night. We got a little bit of food. And do we have any points to spend? Do, 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 do. Nope, no points yet. Okay. We're about halfway to the next level. And there's zombies all, all over the place. Okay, so let's get some coal and... Good lord. Get some coal and some wood. Um, If we have time, I'd like to get into fats. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and group these guys up and then draw the whole group away rather than... I mean, I tried to do that yesterday. I wasn't very successful because I wasn't keeping them with me, so to speak. So let me take care of that first. Get rid of these yahoos. Then we'll go, um, we'll make the water purifier thingamadoodle. Make some actual water we can drink. Uh, go check out Fats Foods. But we also have to figure out our Horde Night solution, too. So that's probably actually the next most important thing we need to do. Okay, so, like, I've been going around looking for coal. 
And I saw this message pop up. It says an uneasy feeling comes to you or over you. And I had a purple. Oh, see, there he is again. An uneasy feeling comes to you. It's like when I get close to this place. Weird, man. Uh, anyway, I actually have a hard having a hard time finding a coal deposit. I'm sure there's one around somewhere, but that's, we kind of needed wood and coal at the same time. I figured we'd knock that out. So we only needed that much, and my axe is now broken anyway. So, okay. Oh, is it because of this? An uneasy feeling comes to you. We were over here earlier. Search Sierra Night Stalker. Magister's Mansion. Follow Sierra Night Stalker through the mansion, learning what happened in that haunted place. Highly recommend to be done during night. Um. Oh. Wait, what? I can't get back into it now? I'm assuming I can still come back here and do this at night, which is going to be super interesting. Um, this is cool. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do this later, though, um, because, yeah, we'll have to do it later. Okay, let's actually harvest some of these veggies because we can actually make some things with them. Uh, here they come. Here come the Zombarooskis. So tomatoes, onions, tomatoes, onions, carrots. Oh, leave me alone, zombies. Let's get those tomatoes. Okay, now we're like eight points encumbered. Anyways, I was heading over towards the uh, the coal factory to get coal, and then I saw that burnt tree, and I said, well, I got to get wood too, so we'll get uh, coal and wood at the same time, and then I saw that uneasy feeling thing come over me and that's uh i thought well that's unusual so i started the camera again uh apparently that happened yesterday when i was there too but i didn't notice it at the time okay so anyway we have everything we should have everything we need to get the burning barrel made and finally get the water filtration unit made and then once that's done uh then we got to start thinking about what we're gonna do for horde night so i'll see you guys back at the base okay we're back here Let's see, can we make the burning barrel now? Burning barrel. Uh, oh, we need seven forged iron. I think I have... I don't have any forged iron. Are you kidding me? I thought I had forged iron. I don't have forged iron. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have any forged iron. Holy shit. Oh, no. Okay. All right, well, let's turn that into wood. Um... I guess we're going to have to put all of these parts back for now. I found another fishing pole. Son of a bitch, man. Um, all right. Well, okay, so let's see here. I want to put... We'll put the food stuff in here for now. Um, that's actually more medical than food. Carrots. Uh, this is actually more medical than food so we'll put the carrots there put the eggs there i completely forgot i don't have any forged iron i hope the trader has some that we can buy that's going to be our next best bet uh there isn't any room for that in there what's in here uh we're just gonna have to put this extra stuff in here for now okay so feathers go here fishing pole. I have another fishing pole somewhere. I just don't know what I did with it. I can't remember. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm just going to put it in here for now. I don't want to, I don't want to spend time doing inventory management because time is really short right now for us. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot all about that. Okay. Well, we have 381 coin. Um, don't really have a lot of stuff that I want to sell at this point. So let's go, let's go to the trader and see if we can luck out and get, um, how much do we need again? Okay, so for the burn barrel, whoops, burning barrel, we need a total of seven. And, th and you know, the other problem I have is I don't have a, 
frickin' uh, uh, wrench. I don't have a wrench to take apart stuff to get iron like a, you know, a ruined workbench. Oh, we do need to make another axe, though, so let's do that real quick before we take off. I feel like time is getting away from me here. Okay, for the stone axe, we need fiber cordage, stone tool, and primitive handle. Okay, so fiber cordage, I think, is here. Uh, we're going to need stone, and we're going to need sticks, which we got here. Oh, there's fiber cordage right there. Okay. So let's make a primitive handle. Let's make an axe head. Is it an axe head or a tool head? Stone tool head? Uh. Oh, sharp rocks. Okay, hold on a sec. Tool head. There we go. Now, uh, the axe, stone axe tool head. What? Where in the hell is that? Why am I not seeing it? Here we go. Okay, so we need five sharp stones. Can make those here okay make five of those there we go and then we'll grab the handle the axe head and we should be able to now actually make the axe itself stone axe right here okay we got that done let's put this stuff back away and go back out and about here Put the stones there. Okay, so maybe we can luck out and buy seven iron from the trader. If not, um, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to do because I can't make the forge yet. Well, we, I need to relook at the forge situation and see uh, what we need to do. There was a couple of kind of specialty items that I didn't have the stuff for the last time I looked at it. But I don't remember what all that is, so... If he could have seven iron ingots for us, that would be beautiful. Let's take a look at your inventory. We need iron. You had a, oh shit, you don't have any iron ingots at all. Do you happen to sell a burning barrel by chance? No? <laughs> um I wonder if a, is a burning barrel something we can loot? Okay, and then iron, forged iron. No, he doesn't have it. Shit. Well, once again, Ravenhurst has us stopped, <laughs> stopped in our tracks. Oh, man, this mod. Holy shit. Okay, we've got to figure out how are we going to come up with seven iron ingots when we can't take apart stuff. I mean, can we get iron from taking stuff apart with the pick? I don't think so. Uh, does he have a a destroyed workbench somewhere in here? This is a forge that doesn't work. Uh, can we take it apart? We get stone, clay, and leather. Useful, but not what we're looking for. Okay, there is a there is actually a workbench over here. Is this thing restocked? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe spinning machines don't restock, which kind of makes... Here's a burning pile right here. Yeah, we're just getting scrap iron from this. We're not getting it whole. Okay, so I don't know if this will give us iron or not. Let's wait for our stamina to get back. I know it would if we could wrench it, but we're, you know, without the wrench, I'm not sure... Do we even have the option of making a wrench? I've probably checked this, but I don't remember. We could make the wrench schematic, but I don't know if we have enough stuff, and we, we haven't unlocked it anyway. Okay. Yeah, see, we're just going to get scrap from this. We're really kind of screwed here, man. Oh, my God, the stamina is just killing me. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't think we were gonna get 
anything out of, out of that ingot wise. Well, son of a bitch. <sighs> now what do we do? Thought you used to be able to loot burning barrels, and maybe you did used to be able to, but I didn't see any option for picking that up. And when I took it apart with the pick, I just got the scraps, so. Let's go back here and see. Let's look at the forge again and see what the options are for that. Okay, I'm just going to put all this stuff in here for sorting later. Um, okay, so let's switch back to uh, here. Craft the forge. So we needed the advanced bellows, the casting tunnel, the clay soil, and the forging plate. Let's go back there for a second and make this um, the active quest. Look at that shitty level axe. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so advanced bells. So it's the duct tape that we don't have to make this. Uh, well, actually, we have three pieces of duct tape. Is duct tape something we can make like normal? So it would be glue and cloth fragments. I know we have cloth. I don't know about glue. This is kind of all my crafting bags over in this general vicinity. Yeah, all right. Can we make glue in here like the old-fashioned vanilla way? We can. Murky water and bones. However, how much murky water did that say? Again? Oh, just one. Okay. Okay. So, here, let's grab these murkies. Uh, for bones, we have bones here. And we also have bone fragments. Uh, oh, I guess there's bones here, too. We also have bone fragments, which is a Ravenhurst thing, that I think we can turn into bones. Yeah, so let's make 27 more bones while that's doing its thing. Let's make some glue here. Yeah, that'll give us enough. That'll allow us to make seven glue. And then we can make the two more duct tape. Then we can make the bellows. And that gets us the bellows part <laughs> of the forge. <laughs> There's just so much to this. I mean, it's, 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 I, I'm not, I know I'm kind of complaining about it just because I don't expect it. And it's like, oh man, I got to do that now kind of thing. So from that standpoint, it's a bit frustrating, but at the same time, it's kind of neat too that, you know, there's that much detail and thought that's gone into the mod, and it's not just the really stupid, basic, ridiculous vanilla uh, simplicity that this game has unfortunately turned into in the vanilla uh, in the vanilla game, right? So I'm complaining about it, but at the same time, I appreciate what's going on here too. Okay, so duct tape uh, that we're gonna have to make in here. Oh my god, please tell me I can make it in here. Duct tape. Oh, phew, okay. <laughs> we can make it in there. Okay, so two duct tapes. We might as well let those bones finish up, too. Then we can make the, the bellows. So, let's look at that again. Um, bellows. Okay, so we're going to need six wood. We got that. We're going to need 20 leather. Oh, dear. Do we have 20 leather? We have, whoops, we have this leather here that we can turn into leather. Um, let's look around in here. Okay, we have that there. Crap. Okay, now it's the leather that's going to be the problem. Let's go here. And we can make four leather out of those scraps. Didn't I have... Okay, so I have nine leather here. Okay. Um... We are having to, to work every step of the way. Work hard every step of the way to do this. 
Okay, let's turn this other bit here into glue. Whoops. And that'll give us six more duct tapes when the time comes. And yeah, we're gonna have to get some more leather now just to make the damn pellets. Okay, let's look at the other two things. So in addition to that, we needed to make the, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, forge plate and casting tunnel. So the plate, the plate, forging plate thingamadoodle. See, we need forged iron for that. So, okay, answer me this, Batman. I can't make forged iron until I have a forge. I can't make a forge until I have 15 forged iron. What the hell? <laughs> What's a guy to do? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we're either going to have to find 15 forged iron or, or buy it off the trader, I guess. If he, you know, if and when he ever actually resets. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this. This mod. It's just nuts. It's nuts, man, I tell you. Okay, well, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. We need, we know we need some more leather. So, here, let's grab the leather out of here. So, we'll put the leather here. We need a total of 20 leather to make the bellows, right? So, we need to find seven more leather. So, that means we need another 14, well, 13 leather scraps. <sighs> okay. I think we need to shift gears here now and figure out where we're going to do the Horde Knight. Um, we need a stout building that they can't get up to us on the roof. So uh, let's get that taken care of first, and then if there's still time for us to go look for leather scraps, we'll do that. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> the progression of this mod is just, it's so slow. So slow. Again, not... I'm only semi-complaining about that, you know, semi-complaining, if that makes sense. Uh, this is a pretty stout building here. We did, uh, didn't we try to get up on the roof of that at one time and kind of had a hard time doing it? Um, the thing is, too, is once we do get up on the roof, is there zombies up there, A, and B, are there, can the, can the zombies get up there from down below? Uh, I know there's going to be sleepies inside. So, why don't we, uh... Why don't we put these down here? And we're going to nerd pull up here. I remember we tried this once before, but... Oh, yeah, weren't the zombies, like already up in the attic and coming through kind of thing. Well, let's just go up and take a look at it again. We're going to have to get around those eaves too. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to do this. Oh, come on, man. Oh, you know what? That's what's preventing me from jumping. Okay, let's do that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Okay, now let's pick up those, but not that one. Now we can get up here. Oh, no, we can't because we can't nerd pull. So that means we got to go here and then here. Okay, pick up that one. That one we lost, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're up here. Um, is this a different building from where we were before? What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kill all of the zombies that are currently up in this attic and then make sure that zombies from down below can't get up here. So that's what we got to do. So there are Zekers up here. Um, let's see where they start to try and break out, and then we're going to have to kill them off. And I'm going to use my blunders for this because nothing from down below is going to be able to get to us, um, except for whatever path they actually have up here. All right, so let's grab um, this and see where they're doing damage. Nothing along here. 
So it sounds like they're mostly... Okay, here they're, they're doing damage here. Is this... This is wood here. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, see, that's all concrete, too. I'm going to let them do the breaking because I don't have the tool durability or the stamina. And then we're just going to deal with them from up here. So that one's... They're working on that one. Okay, let's help them out a little bit here. I want to keep that on my toolbar. Um... I guess we put this here. Okay, so let's start blasting these guys. Oh, did that actually kill him in one shot? Look at us and our bad selves. I don't know if we're going to get that lucky with an Edgar, but... All right, let's get everybody reloaded here. already loaded. They're all focusing on that spot right there. Alright. Edgar's dead. Okay. Yeah, just come on up here, pal. Be a nice headshot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Up close and personal. Okay. Who's next? We've got uh, you. like none of those did any damage <laughs> or not very much anyway okay let's get a little closer Here, let's just break this there we go now we can actually get some good shots in here Oh shit, he jumps right when I shoot. Of course he does. Alright, let's get this. Right in the face. Oh, he dodged. Of course he did. Alright, we're gonna do some knifing here. These guys might already have some damage on them. He did. Oh, out of stamina. Yeah. He did too. Okay. Let's get these reloaded. Beverage is a problem. Uh, we have... The only thing we have to drink are three sodas. We're going to drink one right now. <sighs> okay. Um, so we still haven't cleared this place out. Let's see if we can draw some Zeke's over here. I guess we could jump down in here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on down here.
this could actually be a pretty cool base for us. <laughs> um, because we, we just cleared all the sleepers out of here. Oh man, I kind of like this place, you guys. I kind of like this place. The question is, though, is there a way for them to get up here from down below? Because we just took out the sleepers that were already up here. Um. All right, here. Let's um. Let's get some of this out of the way. We even have a a, a oh. Is this okay? I was gonna say, is this like a full size chest? It's not, but it's still a chest. Um. See, we have the luggage. Oh, there's okay. There's a hatch right there. Okay, so this is what we have to look at. Is there, like, a ladder that they can get up here? There is. Okay, so let's, um... Let's break this. It doesn't look like they can get on this ladder, actually. But let's not take any chances, especially with the Blood Moon Horde. Okay, can I hit that second one just for good measure I can't uh, no I'm hitting the concrete there we go all right we'll just have to wait a million years for the stamina to come back I don't have anything uh, oh I've got this okay let's eat those Yeah, they're down there, but they can't get up here. Okay, so we should be safe from even the Blood Moon uh, getting up this way. I still hear destruction going on, but I'm assuming that's all happening from down below. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here that we can loot. Uh, I don't want to loot it quite yet, though. Nice. Okay. We'll learn that. Um... Okay, so, yeah, this is going to be where we're going to spend Horde 7, and maybe we might even turn this into our actual base. I think what we should do is maybe we should loot it just in place, uh, just in place, <laughs> just in case the place actually gets destroyed by the Horde. You guys were telling me in the comments that the Horde's going to, even on Day 7, is going to be really nasty, so, yeah, let's do that. Let's loot it, and, uh... That's the one that helps me run faster. Yeah, okay, that was a nice find. Let's just loot it, uh, so that way we get the stuff in case, you know, the, it doesn't survive. And then, uh, if it does... <gasps> oh, not good! Son of a bitch! Why does these things happen to me? Um... <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 not that way. Um... Jump down here, jump down here, and out here. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to scooch back up there with our frames. That's all right though. I'm glad we found that place. Um, let's do this. Let's go back to our, our base at Boob Trap. And I'm gonna get. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I mean, we, we have some stuff. We might be able to make a little more food over there. Our biggest problem right now is hydration. And I don't think I have anything left over there that I can drink. Uh, but let's go go take a look. Uh, but what I want to do is get back into that new location, get it looted. Um, again, uh, on the possible chance that we lose the place during the horde night, and then go from there. I don't want to fully commit to moving there until I know it's going to be able to withstand the horde. Did I already loot these. Yeah, I think I did. Man, we need something to drink bad. Come on, fridge, give us something to drink, please, 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 please. Oh. Chance of dysentery, but that's better than dying of dehydration, right? There's a ammo pile here. Okay. Let's kill this guy and see if there's any coffee in that coffee maker.
Don't be hitting me. Okay, what's in here? No coffee. All right, let's just just check. We'll talk. Let's just check really quick. Uh, because I need something to drink. Uh, I see need something more to drink, I should say. Oh, come on, game. Cut me a break here, man. Give me like a yucca juice or something. Hot pocket from the microwave. Well, that wasn't exactly a hot pocket. I'm surprised I haven't actually finished looting this place that I've been living for this whole series. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. See, we've had twine in this cloth couch underneath our feet the whole time. I was whining about not having any. It's so funny. Okay. Uh, we'll check this too. Ed, Eddie Boy's coming in. We can get more leather off of these couches later. Uh, possible beverage here. That gear, you pain in the ass. Okay. I'm really encumbered, so let's get up on the roof, unload, and uh, what I what I think I'm going to do is grab some of our extra storage that we have here. I mean, I've got so many bags lying around that don't have anything in them, so we can kind of have just a single place to consolidate all the loot from the other place. Uh, because here again, I just want to get it looted so we don't lose it, right? So let's put all of this stuff in here. This is just drop off stuff for now. I'll sort it later. This is pretty much broken. Do I have another bow? I'm going to have to make one. Okay. So in terms of beverage, I this is all I have. Well, we do have a golden rod. All right, you know what? We're going to drink this. I mean, it would have been nice for us to have been able to save that in case we got dysentery. But the thing is, I can't just make boiled water in here. I need that filtration thing first. Uh, because the way that it works is boiled water requires murky water, okay? Murky water requires a bottle of infected water and coal, but you need to do that in the filtration thing. You can't do it in here because it doesn't give me an option to to actually make it. Uh, and we can't make the water filtration unit because we can't make a burning barrel. Yeah. All right. So we're going to drink this now because we have it and we need it. And if we get dysentery later, we get dysentery later. It's just the way it freaking is. Um, what's the chance? Oh, 100% infection risk. <laughs> I guess we could down a bunch of those and then take an antibiotic. Hmm. We don't have any antibiotics, though. I mean, we could maybe make some. Okay. Uh, here's a thing of food. Let's just eat this now, too. And we might be able to do something with this other food. I'm not really sure. Let's just grab it and see what if this shows anything. We can make a baked potato. How many can we make? Five. All right, let's make five baked potatoes. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. We'll keep all the rest of this stuff in here. Okay, what do we need to make another bow? Let's take a look at that really quick. So to make a bow... Oh, do we... Do we do that in our own inventory? Keep hitting the I key. Primitive bow. Sticks and fiber cordage. I think we have all of that. Sticks and fiber cordage. Primitive bow. There we go. It's going to be a shit level bow, but a shit level bow is better than no bow at all. Whilst we're here, let's also make some ladders too. So what do we need for that? Uh, we need nails and wood. And we should have extra nails in here. 
That way we can just use ladders to get up on the our new base. There we go. Uh, we can make a total of nine. Let's make a total of nine. We might not need quite that many, but we'll just make that many. I want to save these nails for the stuff we actually need to make. Okay, so we got five baked potatoes. We got our hydration almost all the way back up. Let's turn this off. And we still have those final two cans of soda, too. So, I mean, yeah, that's what we got going on here. Can we eat one of these to get a little health back without... I, I don't want to use this because we need to save this for an emergency. I don't want to use these because they'll make us thirsty as hell. Um, so... That, yeah, okay, so that gave us a little health back. We'll just stop there. Whew, so much going on here right now. Okay, so we got the ladders. Let's put the cordage and that kind of crap back right now. Where did we get that from? Here or here? I think it was here. I'm trying to keep all the mod stuff in here. Okay, this bow is... Eh, we got a couple more shots on it, so I guess we'll hang on to it for just a little bit longer. All right, um, now we wanted to get some... We wanted to pick up some of this extra storage to consolidate everything. I know there's storage already up there, but again... I'm trying to um, I'm trying to do this in such a way that we can consolidate everything kind of away from the main. Oh, these pick up as normal storage, so I don't have to remake them. Okay, that's good. I think, right? Let's look. Just double check. So I don't want to get over there and then find out they're not working. Yeah, we can put them down as is. Okay. Uh, so we just kind of have a single place to consolidate everything that we're going to loot. Okay, let's put this down here and then head back over there. Okay, so our place is over here. It's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so basically we're just going to get up there, we're going to loot the place, and then hunker down for the night. And again... If this building holds up and we survive the Horde Night, then I'm probably going to actually move over here, because this is a pretty cool setup. So I'm not sure where we'll do the entrance. I guess we could just do it just about anywhere, right? Yeah, let's just do it here. Shit, we, we need... An, oh, Big Mama. You need to leave us alone. She coming fast. I don't know how many times I've hit her, but she's probably about dead. All right, let's pull these yahoos over here. Yeah, she did. Off with your head. That's what we like to see. That's what you call using your head, or in his case, losing your head. Oh, shit. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay. Get away from him. I don't know if nine ladders is going to be enough to get up there. If it isn't, we'll have to make more later. Okay, let's go around this way, and hopefully we can ditch these guys. Okay, let's just set up our our way up here. So I want to get all of that crap out of the way. And we want to start two rungs up. Uh, whoop. Get up there. Yeah, I think we're going to have just... Enough. Uh, 
Oh boy, we're one shy. Does, um, can we still pop? Uh, uh, hop, hop, hop up. Yeah, we can. <laughs> okay, we'll have to make a. Uh, we'll have to make one more later. Okay, so we're up here. Um, I'm wondering if I should maybe let's just block that off. Uh, the spiders could still theoretically climb up there. This is where everybody broke in at, or where we're. Where, yeah, where we came in at. Okay, so let's see. How do we want to play this? Uh, we want to loot everything and stash it um, so that if the building comes down, you know, we can still get to it later because there's a decent amount of loot and stuff in here. So I think what we'll do is come up here, up here, and... Oh, man. How do we want to do this? We might, how much time do we have? It's five o'clock. Yeah, I might want to, let's come back down here. I'm just gonna kinda go out on the road cause the zombies shouldn't theoretically mess with any of this stuff out here. you setting down okay so we'll just put that stuff there let's run back to our original base and I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna make one more ladder wait where is our original base it is do, 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 over here I'll make one more ladder because we, we still have some extra nails we can use and then that way we can just ferry everything down to those bags. Because that way, if, uh, again, worst case scenario, the building comes down. We stood, we should, in theory, still be able to get whatever we loot later on. And, you know, if this building doesn't survive, then, I mean, I would expect it to last most of the night. And then we'd, we'll respawn on top of that roof. And if we're lucky, the horde won't re-detect us until the night's over. I just don't know exactly how bad this horde's going to be. I'm expecting it. I mean, this is Ravenhurst, right? <laughs> so I'm expecting it to be a doozy, but we'll see. You know, we'll see how it goes. If we do end up staying here, then probably the eventual plan would be, you know, for me to clear the whole building, of course, get it upgraded to stronger material, but probably not do subsequent horde nights here because, you know, we don't want to shit where we eat kind of idea. I have done that before and successfully, but... Uh, unless you have a really optimal setup for it, it's generally not a good idea to have your horde base and your base base in the same place. Okay, let's cover... Well, we don't want to cover that yet because we have to loot. Okay, so let's loot um, stuff, you know, just that we can open directly first and then we'll worry about taking stuff apart later. There's not... Oh, here we go. Lots of ammo piles up here. Give us some extra, hopefully, iron arrows and more blunderbuss ammo, which is what we need the most right at the moment. Um, let's search the nightstand. A little more clothing options. Did I hit this? Yeah, I did hit that. Okay. Coffins. Not a damn thing. Why are there coffins up here in the first place? I don't know. Why don't we even bother asking? <laughs> okay, we got that. We already looked in the mountain man chest. Let's check this here. Uh, okay, we got another murky water. Got some iron arrows. That's good. Cowboy hat. Uh, lucky goggles. We already have some of those, though. Cooling mesh mod and some more ammunition. Another fishing pole. We did find that one worm, so at some point we'll need to try that. Uh, puffer coat, okay. We got the collar's jacket on right now, though. And until we get a, a vehicle, what's that? An old toolbox storage. Huh. Okay. How much storage do we actually get out of it? 
I can't really move back there because this other stuff's in the way. So let's get our axe here. Okay, how much storage does that have? I'd kind of like to hang on to that if we can, just so we can use it for actual storage. Uh, spear hunter, okay, we'll use that. And the robotic sledge. Very nice. And we have a backpack here. Put some jars in it, and then just some more gut piles. Okay, so I think we looted all of the actual lootable containers. Um... Did we hit the... Oh, no, we didn't hit this. The rest of this is just... No, we just scrapped that. Uh, the rest of this is just stuff I'm going to have to take apart. We can use that for storage, too. Uh, in fact, for that matter, we could use some of this other stuff, too, for storage. Here, let's close that. So, yeah, I'll probably, um, you know, take all the boxes apart. We get plastic and paper and that sort of thing from it and then um you know pretty much we're just gonna hunker down for the night and uh hopefully hopefully survive <laughs> we can take these apart for iron i guess but yeah this would be kind of a cool place for us to base up you know if uh it, oh no don't break that uh, if it survives so Okay. Um, why don't we break this? And for the time being, we'll just put um, a frame here, but I'll probably, you know, change the way we enter and exit this place eventually, you know, later on. Okay, sorry. Our banks are over this way, right? Yeah. Come on, give me just a second to put some shit away, will you, zombies? I want to check out that storage thing and see what that's actually about. I might, probably should have spread those out a little bit more, but whatever. I'm kind of working against the clock here, so I'm doing things quickly. Yeah, she's definitely dead. Just gotta fall down. I am liking the, you know, the knife build here. Once we, oh shit, he's on us. Once we can make, you know, the really good knives. Um, will you just die? All right, we better take this now. Let's just draw these guys away enough to go back over and offload the rest of our stuff. Okay, so we don't need that, that, that. Are you on me already? Man, you're fast. I didn't even hit you and you're fast. All right. If you want it, you're going to get it. Get some stamina back. Your turn. Okay, we need to get a couple more taps off on him. Uh, but let's build up some stamina again. Okay, one more, and he's dead. Die, please. Don't hit me, just die. Come on, man, what the hell? Good lord almighty. <laughs> he thumped us good. Holy shit. Okay, let's put this stuff in here. We don't, because we're not, it's not going to do us any good tonight. Murky water gives us a 12% chance of dysentery. Um, I'm going to probably take that chance because we're going to probably need it. I want to see how much storage this gives, but let's put it back down up here. Yeah, 
And that dude just thumped us good, didn't he? I've got some pain pills back in the place, but, I mean, hydration is our enemy right now. Okay, so if we set this down here... Okay, that's a decent amount of storage. I don't see an option for picking back... Oh, well, it's probably because I don't have a um, land claim block down over here. All right, you guys. Well, this is going to be where we're going to do our first Ravenhurst Horde Night when it comes. Um, what I'm planning on doing, I'll start the next episode right when the Horde Night starts. Uh, but it's really just going to be me hunkering down for the night because there isn't anything else I can do at this point, you know. Uh, we'll block that just in case the spider happens to come up that way. It's not likely, but it's possible. Um, and yeah. We'll see if we can survive. Um, I should probably patch this up too uh, for vultures, you know, in case vultures come by, I guess. But it's really just going to be me hunkering down and waiting out the night and hoping we survive. Because <laughs> that's, again, just because of where we're currently at and the progression being so incredibly slow, I am not even close to being prepared to fight a horde, not even a seven-day horde. So that's just where we're at, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, what I might end up doing is just, I'll keep taking stuff apart in here for something to do. There's no point in being quiet on the Horde Night, because of course they're going to know where we are anyway. Uh, so I can just start taking some stuff apart in here, at least as long as my axe lasts, which isn't going to be very long. And then, um, just do nothing until morning. So, uh, like I said, I will start the next episode w at the start of the Horde Night, and then, you know, ha have, you know, record the first, I don't know, five minutes of it and then probably just do everything else off camera, but keep the record button handy in case something crazy does happen. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, we still have a major problem with food. And now I do have, I do have these four potatoes. We might as well just take them now because once they're gone, they're gone. <clears throat> and then starvation is going to become another of our many enemies. Now here's the thing. I could drink this now, and if I don't get dysentery, we get a little more hydration. If I do, then the dysentery is going to make our food go back down even more quickly. So, I mean, let's just do it. We lucked out. <laughs> we totally lucked out on that. Okay, so that boosted our hydration just a little bit more. Our food is still only about half, so that is going to be a major problem by morning, assuming we survive. But, you know, what can you do, right? If we bite the dust because of food, we bite the dust because of food. It's not because we didn't try hard enough. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, like I said, we'll start the next episode um, when the Horde Night starts. And hope and pray that we survive. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.